Most auto accidents could be avoided, and there are some easy ways that everyone on the road uh, can avoid these accidents. So I'm gonna give you eight tips for avoiding being in an auto accident. Uh, number one, don't drive distracted. And you're gonna find out that a lot of these are obvious. So, um, you know, sometimes we all need a reminder. So number one, don't drive distracted. Don't text, stay off the phone. Texts can wait. Uh, looking down at the phone is one easy way for you to just end up rear-ending someone in front of you who slams on the brakes. Uh, there are services out there, Apple CarPlay for instance, that allow some uh, hands-free usage of the phones, but if you can, just, just stay off of it. Don't be distracted. Number two, drive at a safe speed. The faster you drive, the more likely you're going to be in an auto accident. You know, the speed limits are set at various limits for a reason. You know, the 25 mile per hour limits in neighborhood areas, you know, they're intentionally low because that is going to lessen the risk of you striking someone hitting a pedestrian, another vehicle. Uh, so you know, pay attention to that speed limit. Don't speed. It's another way to help avoid being in an auto accident. Another one is be vigilant at intersections. Uh, many injury cases we get are people being T-boned in an intersection because someone failed to yield to another vehicle. Uh, so be vigilant, pay attention, look both ways. Uh, Many times you could tell uh, if someone isn't slowing down and they may sort of blow through an intersection. Uh, fourth, use your blinkers even when you're just changing lanes. First, it's required. Uh, even if you're in a turn-only lane, it, it may seem obvious that you're going to be turning, but you still have to use uh, use your blinker while you're turning uh, and also changing lanes. You know, it's the one way to notify other motorists of what your intentions are. You know, if you have someone behind you, uh, putting on your blinker is going to let them know that, hey, you're going to be turning here shortly. Or if you intend to change lanes, it gives that warning to a vehicle that's behind you that, hey, you're going to be coming into their lane here shortly. So uh, it's an easy way to avoid an accident. Uh, five, don't tailgate. Uh, as I mentioned before, with the intersections and vehicles getting T-boned. Uh, many other injury cases we get are people getting rear-ended because you know, just not paying attention or even if they are paying attention driving too close, vehicle slams on the brakes and you just sort of could be at that moment where it doesn't matter how hard you hit your brakes, you may slam into that vehicle in front of you. So really the only way to avoid that just don't tailgate, keep that safe distance, you know, considering what the speed is. Uh, number six, treat snowy and wet roads differently than dry, uh, clear conditions. Um, you know, especially, this, especially for people who don't really drive in snow much or haven't experienced that before, uh, the conditions are gonna affect the way your vehicle operates, so be vigilant. Pay attention to those conditions and adjust accordingly your speed and whatnot when you are in those uh, adverse conditions. Number seven, don't drive if you're sleepy. Um, no matter how hard you try, you may not be able to stay awake and that's a surefire way to crash into another vehicle, drive off the road. Uh, it's just a recipe for disaster. And lastly, uh, probably pretty obvious number eight uh, don't drink and drive uh, first of all you know the penalties are pretty harsh for a drunk driving conviction you're looking at mandatory license suspension potential jail time you know fines and costs in excess of a thousand dollars two if you drive drunk cause an accident seriously injure someone god forbid kill someone you're looking at felony charges and lengthy time in prison, multiple years, so just don't do it. Get a designated driver, use a ride share such as Uber or Lyft, um, it's just not worth it. So those are eight tips you know, to help avoid auto accidents. I know they're pretty obvious, uh, but sometimes we need a reminder, sometimes we get complacent when we're driving, you know, if we have a clean record, never been in an auto accident, don't think it could happen to you, uh, you get complacent and 
start getting a little lax while you're driving. So it's good to get a reminder every so often.